Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FSU module. Today's topic for training is withholding tax. In today's topic, we will be covering overview on withholding tax, second the configuration steps, and unit testing. Coming over to the overview, withholding tax which is also known as retention tax. Withholding tax is known as the tax deducted at the source of the revenue or income. The party that is subject to tax does not remit the tax to the authorities himself. It is the other person who has to submit the tax to the authorities. To calculate tax, SCP provides two functions, first is classic and the second versus is extended tax withholding tax. To have a broad discussion on this, withholding tax is the amount which is legally deducted from an employee's salary or wages by the employer, who uses this to prepare the charges imposed by the government on employees yearly earnings the same is with the supplier and when customer as well withholding tax is something which is deducted on the income or the revenue typically the withholding tax is treated as a payment on account of recipients final tax liability so whoever is getting a payment on its final payment the taxes are deducted it may be refunded if it is determined when a tax return is filed by the person three key types of withholding tax are imposed at various levels in united states of america first wage withholding tax second withholding tax on payments to foreign persons and third backup withholding on dividends and interest coming to the first withholding tax on wages this is the income tax withhold on wages is submitted on the amount of wages less the amount called exemptions and the amount of tax withheld are determined by the employer and ultimately the employer has to submit that particular taxes to the tax authorities again the tax rates and withholding tables apply separately at the federal or state and local authorities the wages are defined somewhat differently for different tax purposes. Thus, the federal income tax wages may differ from the social security wages which may differ from the state wages. So, different percentages are applicable for taxes depending upon the different authorities involved for the taxes in part. The second, the second type of wages uh, tax which is deducted is withholding tax on payment to foreign persons foreign persons include non-resident alliance foreign corporations and foreign partnerships the payment subject to withholding tax include the compensation for services interest dividends royalties and so and other payments as well Tax is withheld at 30% of the gross amount of the payment in this particular part of the tax. Whereas withholding tax on dividend and interest, there is a tax deduction of 28% as per the federal income tax. However, this particular taxes can vary from one authority to the another depending upon whether that is federal or state or some other local levels. So these are the some of the three levels where the taxes are deducted 
at United States. Similarly, different countries have their different rules for deducting the withholding tax, that is the taxes on the payments made. So, moving on to the next, in SAP, to calculate this withholding tax, that is retention tax, SAP has provided two functions for the same. One is termed as classical withholding tax and another is termed as extended withholding tax. The extended withholding tax is given a more preference as this is the latest part of the withholding tax provided by the SAP itself which has a number of added features in it. Let's revisit the, those particular features. You can see this particular table. In this, most of the facilities are available in the extended withholding tax, whereas in the classical withholding tax, couple of things are not available, because of which from country to country there are problems while booking the taxes or deducting the taxes in the SAP system. So as you can see, the withholding tax on outgoing payment are available in both whereas on the incoming payment in classical one cannot deduct the withholding tax similarly withholding tax at the time of invoices is not possible in the classical however it is possible in the extended withholding tax now take an example of this in some countries country like India or Asia, Asian countries there are rules that the withholding tax will be deducted in case of ink invoices or payment whichever is earlier and in case the invoices has been received early in that case the tedious or the withholding tax will be deducted on the invoice so if there would have been classical withholding tax deduction of tax would not be possible so the extended withholding tax is preferred Similarly, if there is any kind of a parcel payment, then again in classical you cannot deduct tax on the parcel part, whereas in extended you can do the same. Even in withholding tax, you cannot change the base amount while deducting a tax is in classical withholding tax, whereas the same is possible in the extended withholding tax. So there is a number of advantages and positive features in extended withholding tax because of which in today's scenarios most of the companies and in countries extended withholding taxes are used. Even you can see in the diagram the country specific extended withholding tax. So the extended withholding tax is used in major developed countries you can see even in the United uh, Kingdom. Turkey, Argentina, Brazil, in even in United States, India, South of Korea. So there are different, even number of more countries are there. There is a huge list of that who are using extended withholding taxes. So that is why the extended withholding tax is given more edge and advantage and that is what we will be doing the configuration and customization of the same. Now moving on to the next is you can have a diagram over here which you can see so we'll discuss that in a while. So as said withholding tax is also called as retention tax. It's requirement of government to deduct or withheld a particular percentage from paying to the vendor or employee and pay such amount to the government on behalf of the other person it's a kind of indirect tax. With withholding tax, you can process the withholding tax from both the vendor as well as the customer as we have seen in the features and the last slide. So in accounts payable, because most of the times the withholding tax is used in accounts payable, so we'll discuss that as in the diagram over here on the screen. In accounts payable, the vendor is the person subject to tax and the company code is obligated to deduct the withholding tax and pay this over to the tax authorities on the vendor's behalf. Whereas in accounts receivable, the company code itself is subject to tax and the customer that do business with this company deduct the withholding tax and pay it over to the authorities on the company code's behalf. So, in both the cases, the business partner 
of the person or the entity subject to the tax deduct deductions and pays it over to the tax authorities. Now, in the diagram, as you can see, that when a customer over here is authorized to deduct the withholding tax and pays invoices from a vendor subject to withholding tax. So what he does is whenever a vendor submits an invoice to the customer, the customer deducts the taxes and submits this to the withholding tax over here. So the customer reduces the payment amount by the withholding tax proportion and ultimately whatever the payment made by the customer to the vendor is subjected to tax and that much amount has been deducted and paid to the authorities. The customer then pays the tax withheld directly to the appropriate tax authorities depending upon the whether it is a federal tax authority or a state tax authority or any local level authorities. So in United States as we know the regulatory body in United States is internal revenue services. So there are certain reports or certain uh, things which has been needed for these withholding taxes and one of such reports is 1099 miscellaneous report which is very much common for the taxes and purposes. Configuring the 1099 report for US in SAP is pretty much a standard process. In USA 1099 miscellaneous is used to report payment for services performed for a business by people not treated as employees such as payments to subcontractors, rent payments or maybe prices and all. So this is a requirement by the internal revenue services that is IRS. A 1099 miscellaneous form is provided to the recipient and the copy is mailed to or e-filed with the IRS. Any business that has paid vendor a particular amount or more as a non-employee he is subject to have the tax deductions must provide with 1099 miscellaneous reports or uh, maybe a copy of it. So this 1099 report is a very much common report in any business uh, which has been done in United States of America. So we'll see that how that can be done in the SAP system and that is what we will be following up today on this particular configuration steps. So the configuration steps are on your screen where first we will check the withholding tax countries then we'll go for the next configuration steps in the system. So moving to the first configuration step that is to check withholding tax countries. Let's move on to the slide. Mm, in slide the path is IMG screen then the financial accounting new to financial accounting global settings withholding tax extended withholding tax to basic settings and then to check the withholding tax countries. Now a more important question is that why we need a withholding tax countries. The withholding tax countries is needed for printing the withholding tax forms and also for maintaining the tax codes in the vendor master as well as the customer masters so that the country specific reports could be provided through the system for the company code. So moving on to the screen now to check our own withholding tax country we need to go to first the SPRO enter then we'll move to SAP reference IMG now financial accounting new then financial accounting global settings here you can see the withholding tax now in withholding tax you can find that there are two withholding tax over here one is withholding tax another is extended withholding tax 
so the withholding text is the classical withholding text which has been uh, shown over here or if, uh, is simply written and the extended withholding text is the new version of withholding text which also includes all the functions of the classical withholding text even SAP therefore recommends the use of extended withholding text and in today's era or in present time most of the countries and companies are using the extended withholding text for their for their uh, reporting purposes so moving on to check the extended withholding text as we are in extended withholding text now we'll go to the basic settings in basic settings you can find the first step that is check withholding tax countries so how we went to the path we need to go to the financial accounting then to the financial accounting global setting then to withholding tax then to extended withholding tax then basic settings and in that check withholding tax countries now let's execute the option over here now you can see that there are various country defined in it as on the screen these are the different countries which have been defined in the column 1 and the column 2 is the withholding tax country and then the description so these are some of the different countries whose uh, withholding tax countries have been defined what we will be defining is for United States so let's search for the position that is there any country for United States or not so enter you can see that there are numerous countries which have been defined as of now in the screen in the system there are certain which are not related to the United States even they have been described over here maybe they have been created by the users on the system so we will be creating our own country as we don't find our own country over here so even you can define your own country in the system so let's move and move to new entries now over here you can define your own country in the screen as you wish to now we will be defining US even if you want you can take USA or even if you want you can take US so more recommended to have US then you can define your own withholding country now the withholding country again I am taking US or even you can take USA as well and over here you can describe the description of your particular withholding tax country so the description over here I am taking up is United States W C T Y which means withholding tax country so this is what I have defined over here as uh, the withholding tax country in the system as this was not there in the as of now on the screen so we can save this and your particular withholding tax countries have been defined so the United States of America is uh, US is the withholding tax country as in the system that's it now moving to the next configuration step is to define the official withholding tax keys now withholding tax keys is used to identify different withholding tax types a name is to be given with the official key now when we talk about withholding tax the tax authorities use the official withholding tax keys to identify the different withholding tax types you can define these official names for your tax codes here a very sim uh, simple and a common practical scenario for United States is that the officials needs reports on the basis of different uh, text types like 1042 is one of the report which is needed by the uh, tax authorities in US similarly there are reports for 1099 as well so this is what you can categorize over here as a withholding text keys 
so that is what we will be defining on the system similarly other countries have their own way out of defining withholding tax keys if you move to uh, UK or maybe for a common example for India uh, the withholding tax keys are defined as 194A, 194C, 194D, 194G, 194R these are different categories because they are different uh, laws and tax perspective on different these keys so uh, for contractor there is a different percentage for commission and brokerages there is different for professional and technical services there is different so in India they pro they, they define the withholding tax keys as 194A C as per the laws in US we need basically is to have 100 100 as a tax keys so we'll be defining these tax keys in the system over here let's move on to the screen so moving back now over here you can see the very next step is define withholding tax keys so the withholding tax which is also known as tax deducted at source that is TDS in some of the countries as well we will be defining the keys over here moving to execute over here execute option now we'll be defined you have to select the country key over here that is US enter so you can see the withholding tax key description is blank as of now in the system now we will be defining our own keys over here so let's you need to define we need to go to the new entries now over here you can take your own official key so the official reports needed as per the tax authorities in US is 1042 that is the official report for 1042 reporting whereas the next is 1099 that is official key for 1099 reporting so we'll be defining over here 1042 and in this side you can define the description over here So you can take over here the description official key for 1042 reporting similarly you can define over here as 1099 and you can take the description as well over here that is 10 official key for 1099 reporting so this is how you can define your keys depending upon what are the different uh, official keys or uh, the different identity you want to give to the text types now you can save this screen over here so if you save it your withholding text keys are defined in the system so you can see the customization has been saved on the request so that is it for the second step now moving to the third is defining the reason for exams now moving to the exemption part they are number of recipients or vendors or employees you can say that who are not eligible for tax they are under the head of exemption due to the laws that a certain amount of till a certain amount of payment no TDS or no withholding tax will be applicable so in case a particular party is not liable for taxes then in that case we need to define the reasons for exemption in the system and those reasons are created as an indicator and that those indicators are entered in the particular vendor masters record or the particular pay master record so that the taxes are not deducted on them so we need to define those reasons in the system over here so let's move and define those reasons so that you can you can assign those particular reason codes in the masters of vendor and so that the taxes cannot be deducted on them so moving to the again SAP screen moving back to the path so you can see the path over here the same it is again next to the text keys that the defining reasons for exemption is there in it so to define the reason for exemption we need to execute this option over here now in this again you have to take the country key that is US enter now in this you can see the exemption reasons are blank so it's up to you what kind of reasons you want to 
create over here so that those exemption reasons can be used in the system so that the taxes should not be deducted for particular vendor masters so going to the new entries for example I want to create the exemption rules over here or reasons for exemption so you can take like uh, example I take a simple ZE and uh, for that I can take the text over here as exempt as per withholding tax similarly you can create other keys as well so you can create the exemption reason on one side and you can give the description as text on the other side is over here and your text exemption reasons will be defined so now we can go and we can save this screen over here so once you save it will be saved in the request that's it so this is how your exemption as per the withholding tax have been defined so moving to the next configuration step that is defining withholding tax for invoice posting so the withholding tax type controls the essential calculation option for extended withholding tax while the withholding tax which will be creating withholding code which will be creating later on only controls the percentage rate so withholding tax type can be deducted at two point of time it can be either at the point of at the time of invoice or at the time of payment so for this withholding tax types are to be created one for the invoice and one for the payment because it could be that you would be deducting the taxes at the time of the invoice posting or it could be you would be post deducting the taxes at the time of payment of the invoices or payment of the other revenue sources so what we will be doing first is we'll be creating withholding tax type for the invoice posting first and then we'll move for uh, defining the withholding tax type for the payment posting as well so moving on to define the first withholding tax type for invoice posting the path as you can see from extended withholding tax to the calculations then in calculation withholding tax type and then to define withholding tax type for invoice posting so let's move on to the screen now so we can move to the calculation and in calculation we need to go to the withholding tax type and withholding tax type we will be moving to first option that is the withholding tax type for invoice posting so over here we will be defining one uh, tax withholding tax type for invoice posting and then we'll move for the payment posting so executing this particular tab over here then you need to put the country key over here enter now what I will be doing over here is I will be defining the withholding text type so for that I would be moving to the new entries now in this you need to define the withholding text type for the invoice posting so you need to take a two digit two character code over here so suppose I take the code over here as n1 and you need to put the description over here that is uh, depending upon you what kind of a description you want to have so what I will be defining over here is 1099 withholding text type for invoice so this will let me know that this particular text type is defined for the reporting of 1099 and that is also for the invoice posting only so once you have taken the description over here now we will be moving over here to be describe the base amount so the base amount should be gross amount on which the taxes should be calculated in case there is any kind of a law that on which the net amount taxes has to be calculated on the net amount in that case you can move and you can take the tax amount but most of the cases the taxes are deducted on the gross amount so I will be taking the gross amount over here then we will moving to the next is the withholding over here we will take the second option 
round withholding tax amount up moving down in the configuration step you can see most of the things are all are already taken up over here you don't have to do any changes in them you just need to take the same over here so here we want the base amount we have already taken as a gross amount the rounding rules can be selected based on the three options as we have seen in above that is the first is withholding tax accumulated amount round off second is rounding withholding tax up and route in uh, round round off of withholding tax amount so we don't want any accumulation of the base amount for calculation of withholding tax this is particularly important if the withholding tax is to be deducted only if the gross amount on the accumulated reaches a specific figure so we don't need that we would be taking the second option in this particular case for rounding off and then moving down these will remain same no accumulation will be needed over here then uh, these will remain as it is over here now no changes has to be done so we can define the minimum and the maximum amount for calculation either at the withholding tax code level or withholding tax type level so it is what we will be taking the base amount as withholding tax level over here and the withholding amount also as withholding tax level so once you have taken this configuration over here then you can move and you can save this screen so that your withholding tax type for the invoice will be defined as N1 so we will move and we can save this screen over here now so once we have saved this setting will get saved in this request you can see the data was saved you can go back so again you can see now that your withholding tax type has been defined over here on the screen similarly if you want you can define the other withholding tax keys uh, tax types as well for the other reports as well the same way now we can move to the next is even you can define over here as something as exempt if there is anything is exempted so even you can take over here as uh, uh, ZE or you can take over here as uh, E1 for exempt over here that is what you can take text exempt as a withholding text type as well so that is again is a is a possibility for you and in that case you can take the same settings no need to do anything else because no taxes will be deducted in this particular case so once you have done this again you can save it and again your withholding text type for the invoices for exempt part has been defined so this is how you would be defining your withholding text for invoices withholding tax type for invoices now similarly we'll be moving to the next step that is defining the withholding tax type for payment posting so it's similar to the invoice but the difference as said is that the withholding tax are deducted at two point of time one is at the time of invoice or the another could be at the time of payment so if we are going to deduct the taxes at the time of invoice we need to define the withholding tax type at the time of invoice and if we want to deduct the withholding tax at the time of payment then we need to define the withholding tax type at the time of payment as well so this is what we have already defined defi withholding tax type for invoice posting now moving to the second we will be defining the withholding tax type for payment posting executing over here country key US enter so now over here we have moved to the next screen where we will be defining the withholding tax type for the payment so for payment now we will be defining the keys so we also have to enter the withholding tax information when entering the document for this withholding tax type so over here now we'll be defining suppose as 
we have defined n1 over there so what we'll be doing is we'll be defining uh, suppose n2 in this screen over here so we can go to new entries so we are over here in the new entry part where you can take the withholding text type over here so we can take over here as n2 or even you can take over here as suppose as p1 p represents payment one means the first withholding text type over here we can put the description that is uh, suppose uh, 1099 again now over here we'll be taking up as posting instead of invoice we'll now be taking over here as payment so this will be payment now the settings over here will be again same the calculation of taxes will be based on gross amount then we'll be taking up the rounding withholding tax amount up and this will remain as it is the rest of the settings will remain as it is withholding tax for payments will be selected over here as you can see on the screen now moving down page So in the next down page what we will be looking for is, uh, so it most of the things will remain as usual which is by default SAP, we will not be making any changes so as to keep it as simple. So this is it what you need to do, you don't have to do any other changes in it. Basically you need to define the text type over here which will be a two character, you need to put the description over here and then you need to go to the base amount as the gross amount and the rounding up rounding rule will be round with holding amount up and that's it so rest of the settings are by default which has been taken up by the system itself you can just go through those settings we have taken the post withholding tax amount no accumulation then in control part withholding tax base manual manual withholding tax amount over here we have just assigned one part over here that is withholding tax for payments and then no certificate numbering moving down over here we have taken the minimum maximum amount as withholding tax code level withholding tax code level so withholding tax code basically is the one which carry the percentage of tax to be deducted central invoice no central invoice minimum clerk check minimum check at item level so that is it now we can go and we can save this screen over here and this will create our withholding text type for the payments similarly you will be creating your withholding text type for payments further uh, depending upon you what kind of uh, different text types you want to prepare for example you can create uh, withholding text type for maybe for state level or for local authority level as well or even for 1049 reports you can create withholding tax for invoices and payments as well so moving back so you can see over here your withholding tax type for payment has been defined as p1 now we can even go back over here now we can go to the next configuration step that is check recipient type so recipient type basically is used to categorize the recipient the recipient from whom the taxes have been deducted can be an individual it can be a corporation or partnership or maybe a nominee or a government or maybe any other private foundation or others so whatever kind of a recipient they are if you want to categorize the taxes on the basis of recipient as well over here you can define those recipients so that you can have reports as per the recipient wise as well that what is the taxes which have been deducted why because at times different uh, tax authorities put taxes as per different recipients as well if the the particular recipient is a corporation the percentage of tax could be different 
if it could be a government then the taxes percentage could be different and if it could be a partnership or an individual respectively the taxes amount varies person to person so in case the tax amount is different from person to person in that case you can define the recipient types over here because in most of the countries the tax percentages varies as per the recipients so what we'll be doing is we'll be defining these recipients in the CP system for categorizing the recipients so moving on to the screen now so for this particular part we'll be moving up to the again withholding tax then the extended withholding tax in that basic settings and in basic settings you will find the check recipient type so moving on to the screen now basic setting is over here and extended withholding tax then we'll be moving over here as uh, check recipient types so over here we'll be executing this field so once executing it asks you for the country key you need to put your country key over here that is US enter so you can see that the over here the uh, screen is blank over here there is no recipient types defined as of now and over here on the heading you can see the vendor type of recipient so what it does it it is required to categorize the vendor what kind of a vendor that particular vendor is whether it is uh, an individual or a corporation or a partnership or a government or a nominee or a private foundation or what so you can define over here that particular recipients so you can go to the new entries so over here you need to take the withholding tax type as well which we have just defined so depending upon the withholding tax type you need to define the recipient type so what we'll be doing over here will be first selecting the withholding tax type and then we'll be defining the particular recipient type so suppose I take this as n1 n1 was uh, the recipient type uh, withholding tax type for the invoices so the invoice tax could be directed on the invoices for all the recipients so we'll be defining all of them so we'll be taking 01 as individual similarly you need to take the withholding tax over here for further parts further uh, recipient types to be defined so suppose I define the next as 02 that could be your corporation and uh, similarly you can take 3 that could be again a nominee you can take a fourth one as others so it's up to you what different recipients you want to define so similarly you can define the other recipient as well like uh, private foundation or government or maybe uh, tax exempt organizations so whatever the recipients you want to define you can define those recipients over here and that can be used for reporting purposes uh, later on and even for the tax percentage calculations as well so once you have taken over here for n1 similarly you can take for n for the other recipient uh, withholding tax types as well so other suppose other withholding tax type we have defined as p1 so even in p1 p1 that is a payment on payment the taxes could be deducted for any of the recipient types so you need to assign the particular uh, withholding tax type with the recipient type over here as well so over here we, again you can take 01 and now you can take over here is the individual similarly you can take P1 over here for 02 then now again 02 could be a corporation similarly you can take P1 again for 03 and the 03 could be a nominee again we can take P1 as 04 and the uh, other the next could be others so in this way you need to define your withholding uh, types over here and then the recipient type so those recipients will be created for them and that will be available for you for withholding tax the respective withholding tax type so once you are done with this uh, thing
can go and you can save the screen and your recipient types will be defined so just when you saved now you can go and you can select ok so you can see the data was saved that means the these particular recipient types have been defined in the system and now these recipient types can be used for the particular withholding tax deduction part now moving to the next step is withholding tax codes so withholding tax codes is to specify the tax rates at what rate the taxes has to be deducted the tax base amount and any exemptions if any apply so by doing so you can report to the IRS your outgoing payment and withholding tax for 1099 reports or even for 1042 reports that is for vendor so we'll be defining over here these different tax codes in the system so if you know some of the withholding tax laws as per the United States there are different taxes are imposed on different uh, things like uh, there is different tax deduction for rent for loy loyalties there could be different percentage of tax then for prizes and awards you have to pay different taxes so these all ha can have different percentages so if they have different percentage different withholding tax will be defined and in case all of them have got the same percentage then even you can define one particular withholding tax as well so we'll be defining these different tax codes depending upon in the system so let's move and define those so moving on to the screen we can go to the path so over here you can move over here on, on the screen now you can see the path the over here withholding tax extended withholding tax then calculations withholding tax code and then defining the withholding tax codes so moving over here on the screen we are over here the extended withholding tax now we need to go to the calculations and in calculations now we need to go to the withholding tax codes so once we go in withholding tax code we need to expand it and that you can find define withholding tax codes so over here we'll be defining the tax code now we can define we can go and we can execute this screen over here so once you execute it ask you for the country key that is US continue so once you continue and you can see the screen over here is reflected to you but now we will be defining our own withholding tax code so first we will go to new entries okay so we can go to this new entries over here now so once you go to the new entry you can see the screen is blank on in front of you you need to select the withholding tax type over here so first we will be selecting the withholding tax type for 1099 withholding tax type for invoice which we have defined and in case of invoice what will be the tax code and what will be the percentage which will be deducted will be taken over here so we will be defining the withholding tax code over here suppose I take it over here as F1 you can put the description over here now and 1099 withholding tax for rent and you can put define the percentage over here suppose I take the percentage as 10 percent now you can move over here in the screen you can see the percentage subject to tax so what how much amount of percentage you want to deduct that percentage has to be defined over here so I can put the percentage as 10 now the next is over here you need to define as post indicator so this uh, this means the posting indicator 
you can now uh, go for the search option over here so in this what you need to take is so you need to take the standard posting over here that is one has been assigned now over here that withholding tax key you need to take if you remember in the initial uh, configuration step we define the office official withholding tax key and we define two withholding tax keys one was 1042 and another was 1099 and one more was there 1020 so normally in United States 1042 and 1099 reporting is needed so that is why we define these two different keys now in that I what I am defining the text code is for 1099 so I will be taking the official withholding text key as 1099 over here so it is what you can see over here has been taken up now moving to the next over here we need to define the over here you need to take the 100 100 means the person the base amount on which the tax has to be calculated you want the tax to be calculated on the gross amount that is 100 then you need to take 100 over here if you want the tax to be calculated on 80 percent of the amount then you need to take over here as 8080 but basically it's normal cases it always remains as 100 so now the tax percentage is 10 which we want so the tax percentage has to be defined over here that is calculation withholding tax so over here I will be taking as 10 and the percentage is uh, automatically taken by the system as you can see the symbol at the outside so this is how you will be creating your withholding tax first you need to take the withholding tax type that we have already defined earlier we just searched and taken this up next is withholding tax code over here you need to take a two character code the character could be alpha or numeric or maybe alpha numeric it's up to the uh, the particular person whatever he wants to define next is the withholding tax key so withholding tax key is the key which we have initially defined this to differentiate between the 1099 reports and 1042 reports so accordingly we have defined over here we need to define the description so we define f1 tax code for rent that at the rate of 10 percent so that is what we have taken over here the percentage base amount will be always 100 and the posting indicator will be 1 that is a standard posting and the tax rate will be 10 percent that means 10 percent tax would be deducted with this particular tax code so once this has been done you can save this and your tax code has been defined so this tax code which we have defined is for invoice posting similarly you can define the withholding tax code for payment posting as well that means this particular tax code f1 can be used at the time of invoice punching when you punch the invoice in the system or post the invoice into the system similarly if you want to define another another taxes for at the time of invoice posting you can do the same as well like uh, the uh, number of other taxes you can define like uh, the royalties could be there and again in rent and royalties there could be different percentages could be defined then again there could be other taxes as well like uh, prizes and awards maybe federal income tax could be there fishing boat proceeds could be medical and health care payment could be there so there are a number of different different uh, particular parts where the taxes can be defined so if you want you can, we can go proceed and create more uh, of the tax code suppose let's take couple of more in it we can go for the next one new entries now again I want to define it for the invoice punch taxes to be deducted at the time of invoice so I will be taking the withholding tax type 1099 withholding tax type for the invoice over here for the invoice means the particular tax code will be can be used only for the invoice posting over here we need to take the tax code suppose I take it as F2 and over here you need to take the tax key so the key will be 1099 you can define the description over here as well so the description could be 1099 
0.99 and you can define over here the royalty so we'll be taking over here as 1099 with holding tax royalties at the rate of 30% over here you need to take the 100% that means on 100 dollars 30 percent taxes will be deducted the post indication will be again one that is the standard posting and over here you need to define the percentage on the basis of which the system will deduct that particular amount of percentage on the particular base amount so that will be 3030 so once you have defined this again you can move and you can save this screen and your text will be created so you can see the data was saved when you go back you can see the text code over here f2 has been defined similarly you can go for creating the text codes for the payment part as well this which we have created is for only for the invoice invoice punching invoice posting part now we'll be moving to the new entry for creating the text code for the payment so now for payment we need to take the withholding text type for payment and that is P1 the text code over here you can take now now the, the text code which you want to define is up to you whatever you want to take up as so suppose I take the text code over here as uh, one you can put the description over here now 1099 and again I will be taking the same uh, 10% on rent for payment and you can select the official key that is 1099 so the text key created is T1 for at the time of payment for rent so whenever you will be making a rent payment you will be deducting a 10% of tax as a withholding tax part rest of the same things will remain same as we have done the earlier part the percentage subject to tax will be 100% posting indicator will be 1 and now the withholding tax rate will be 10% that's it now you can go and you can save this screen over here and your text code will be defined similarly you can go back and create the new entries for royalties as well now again withholding text type will be taken over here is for payment that is P1 then the text code you can define over here is T2 which I have taken 1099 for royalties and over here you can define the withholding text key so the withholding text key will be 1099 because I am defining all the text codes for the 1099 report. The percentage tax for subject to tax is 100. Then the posting indicator will be 1 and the percentage of tax to be deducted is 30. So in which part, in which particular uh, base amount you want to deduct the tax whether it is invoice or a payment on the basis of that you need to define the withholding text to that so this is how you would be creating your withholding text codes in the SAP system so you can see that how many text codes have been defined in the system now moving you can see over here for N1 we have created F1 and F2 that is for rent 10% and for royalties 30% and for payment T1 and T2 again in that the rent is 10 percent and for royalties is 30 percent so similarly you can define your own different text codes in the system they could be there are number of text codes which are which are been defined as per the different rules and regulations and of tax authorities so moving back to the to the path now we'll move to the next configuration step the next is to assign the withholding text type to the company code so this is pretty simple you need to go to the extended withholding text and to the company code 
and over here you need to assign the withholding text type to the company code so moving up over here to the withholding text over here then to the company code and then you can see over here the assign withholding text type to the company codes so executing this so in this you need to search your own company code so for that you can go to the position and you can put your company code over here 1200 enter so you can see the company code is reflected to you over here so now you need to assign so for that you need to go to the new entries you need to give your company code over here that is 1200 you need to give your withholding text type search for the options withholding text type now over here we will be taking the withholding text type is n1 that we have just defined and the recipient type over here so the recipient type we have defined is individual corporation nominee and others so you need to assign them one by one to the particular withholding text type while define assigning this to the company code so first I will be taking it for the individual now you need to select the withholding text agent over here you need to put the withholding text obligated from so from when it will be applicable you need to put the date so from that particular date it will be applied to the particular company code suppose I give it from 1st of April 2014 and then you need to put the until until means till when it will be applicable so I can put the date over here is suppose 9999 because I will be using it for endless purpose I don't know how long it can go for so this is it which you will be defining so once this has been done you need to go down over here subject to withholding text so once that has been defined so this is what you need to do you need to take the company code then the withholding text type and against the withholding text type you need to assign the recipient type then you need to define the for vendor data you need to select the withholding text agent and then you have to put the date from and to and then you need to select the subject to taxes for customer data once that has been done you can save the screen that means your withholding text assignment for the recipient type 01 has been done now similarly you will be doing the assignment for the other withholding text type as well so again you will be selecting over here new entries then 1200 you need to take the withholding text type as again n1 and the recipient type now date taken will be 02 that is for corporations then you need to select the same setting which we have done earlier you need to select the subject to taxes then again you can save it the, the we are doing this again because we need to take the different recipients to be assigned to the company code then you can save it okay see if the entry already exists so no problem we can change the withholding text type over here let's take it for p1 also so this is what you need to do once you have done that now you can save the screen so this is how you will be assigning your uh, withholding text type to the company code so what we did is we took the recipient uh, the withholding text type against the company code with according to the informations on the screen and we define the the particular part and assign it with the company code in the system so this is what is the next is the is in this particular step now moving to the next step over here is activate extended withholding text so now in this particular step we will be activating the extended withholding text for the particular company for the particular client 
and the company code as well so for that we need to go to the withholding tax company code and then activating the extended withholding tax so let's move on back so over here even in the very next step you can see activate extended withholding tax so once you activate this you cannot revert it back mind it and in this case then uh, the classical will be moved to the extended withholding tax part in case that has already been defined in the system so now we have to go to the execute option over here so once we have done the execute you need to go to your company code and your company code you need to select this particular tab over here to activate the extended withholding tax you can see in the rest of the company code it has not been marked that means they are not activated for extended withholding tax if you want to follow the withholding extended withholding tax you need to select this option over here and you have to select this and then you need to go and you can to save the screen over here so once you do that your extended withholding tax functions will be active so this has been saved now we can go back and move to the next configuration step that is to assign accounts for withholding tax now over here we'll be assigning the ledger accounts in the s in for the withholding tax type where all the taxes amount will be posted so now we need to assign the account for withholding tax so before assigning the withholding tax account we need to first define the account means to create the ledger account in the SAP system so let's move first to create the ledger account in the SAP system the transaction code for that is FS00 FS00 enter so the withholding tax jail which I will be creating over here or you can say it as uh, uh, the jail for income tax withholding now this particular jail will be a part of a liability because whatever the taxes deducted from the recipient is a part of liability for you as you need to or the company need to submit it to the tax authorities so we'll go over here and we'll select a tax uh, a liability jail which I, we can use next which is uh, vacant for us so if you remember the liability start with 2 so the next jail applicable for us which we can use is after 4 you can see 200004 and then 21 so we can use 5 over here for So we will be able to use over here now the GL5 can be used because still 4 it has been assigned. So in the fifth we will be defining account that is income tax withheld account. Now moving to create we can go to this particular over here in liabilities then we can select the balance sheet again you can define different ledger account depending upon the kind of tax authorities involved there could be a federal tax authority there could be a, a particular state authority or maybe a local authority so if you want you can have separate ledger account for them as well for federal you can have a federal income tax withhold GL for states you can have a state income tax withhold GL for a local you can have a local income tax with hail jail as well so I'm over here now is creating is a is a common one particular ledger account for all the income tax related concerns income tax with held similarly we can copy it over here account now we can move to the control data in control data we will be taking the tax category as a star and we can mark over here the posting without tax is allowed then we will take over here as open item management and line item display moving to the next over here is create bank and interest over here we need to take the field status group that we will be taking as 001 G001 so what is it you need to do for defining the ledger account 
you need to create a ledger under the head liabilities for income tax withheld account that is what we have created the ledger account has been created now you can see the number I had over here so the ledger account is this 200005 now we can move to the screen over here and we can go for defining the account for withholding tax to be paid over so now we'll be moving to this path for that again we need to go to SPRO so you can see the path over here from withholding tax we need to go to the extended withholding tax and then from there we need to go to the posting and then to the accounts for withholding tax so let's move to the SPRO part enter SCP reference IMG then to financial accounting new in that we need to go to financial accounting global settings then to withholding tax then to extended withholding tax and in that we need to go to posting and over here you can see accounts for withholding tax in that we'll be defining the account over here define account for withholding tax to be paid over so the path is simple financial accounting then financial accounting global setting withholding tax extended withholding tax then posting then accounts for withholding tax and then define accounts for withholding tax to be paid over now over here we need to execute so once we execute it asks you for the chart of account so you need to put the chart of account over here that is 1000 enter so you can see over here the ledger is defined for some other one we don't need that we will be defining our own particular ledger account right now so let's delete this now take our own ledger account we need to take the withholding tax type first then we will be taking the withholding tax code so the withholding tax type which we have defined is N1 and in N1 we will be defining our own tax codes which we have created that is a lot of options are there in it so we need to segregate out of it the tax code we have defined was if you remember let's search it the text code we defined see over here F1 and F2 then T1 and T2 so this is what we need to define you even want you can copy that over here copy n1 against F n1 and f1 n1 f2 f p1 t1 p1 t2 so n1 is for invoice and p1 is for payment so we just copy it over here and now we can assign it over here on the screen so we can take it over here withholding text type is n1 against that the text code is f2 again the withholding text type is n1 and the withholding text code is f2 f1 was for rent at the rate of 10% per uh, 10 percent as a percentage of tax and f2 is uh, for royalties that is 30 percent of tax then we define the withholding text type p1 for payment and for payment we define the tax code t1 and t0 same for rent 10% and for royalties 20% so over here now we will be defining a ledger account so the ledger account we just created a couple of minutes back so you can even search that over here that is it 200005 income tax withheld account so you can select that over here the same ledger account will be using for all in the debit side as well as on the credit side Similarly, we can go over here. 
so once you've defined this over here you can save this screen and that is what you need to do and your accounts are defined for the withholding text types and withholding text codes so here we are done with all the configuration steps now for withholding text now we'll be moving to the unit testing part but the unit testing will be covering in the next training session of SAP FICO module till then you can revisit the configurations try them configure them in the system and we'll see you soon with the next training session part thank you